going on YouTube? Uh, Happy New Year, if I didn't say it in my last video. 2011 is already starting off uh, on, a, on a pretty good foot. Yesterday I had a song leaked, uh, it's, it's a track with Jeezy and USDA. Um, it's called CTE or Nothing, co-produced by my man DJ Cash. Uh, shout out to DJ Cash, shout out to DJ Folk. So check it out, it's a good song. They got the official music video coming soon, so that's my second uh, track with Jeezy. And the USDA album is coming soon too, so it's a rumor that that, that song is the um, title track for the album. I couldn't upload it because Universal Music Group wouldn't let me, but it's all over the internet. Just just Google USDA or Google uh, Young Jeezy CTE or nothing, and, and, and it'll come up. You can also um, check it out at djpain1.info. I got it up there. You can check it out on uh, DJ Cass PMP profile. Matter of fact, follow him on Twitter at DJ Cass DJ A Y C A S. Follow me too at DJ Pain One. Anyway, this video that I'm making right now is in response to a lot of um, requests that I've received about, you know, drum rolls that are prevalent in a lot of the newer music, especially hip hop, especially uh, hip hop with a kind of southern influence on it. Um, I don't know whether drum rolls is the right term. Um, they kind of sound more like snare fills, but uh, you'll get the point either way. Or like this have been asking me, well, how do you accomplish that sound using acid? And I'm um, about to tell you. Of course, you can probably transfer this in programs that um, allow for the same type of drum programming. Um, I don't know about FL Studio. I know in Pro Tools and uh, Logic and GarageBand, I'm pretty sure you can do this all. Probably Cakewalk and Sonar as well. Um, and also, I'm going to be uploading, which which the uh, link to this will be in the video info, uploading a um, Sony Acid uh, zip file session for Acid Pro 7. Um, so if you have it downloaded, and I'll include in that file all of the different types of fills and the different types of patterns that I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, I'm going to try to make the video quick as well. I usually fail at doing that, but I'm, I try every time. I really do. Uh, so the first order of business is to learn a little bit about rhythm and so if the terms eighth note and sixteenth note triplet are unfamiliar to you or you're not quite sure what they they actually mean it would be helpful for you to review uh, those terms and review some music theory and this website is a good resource uh... It, it's made by someone who's playing drums while he instructs you on the differences between the different uh... different ry rhythms and different note values um, so that so that's helpful to know because this is directly related to this type of drum programming. And you know, the more you know about music theory, obviously, the better your music is going to be because you have more of a knowledge base of what your options are rhythmically. I also want to say that all these I'm, I'm focused on snare fills. Uh, you can obviously apply these techniques to other drums, so kicks, um, other sounds. And you can expand on them and, and create your own variations. That's really where the creativity comes in. I'm just going to show you some basic drum programming techniques. So the first thing that you have to know about the Sony Acid Grid is that at the very top, and this is, this is basic stuff, zoom in, at the very top of the grid, there are these vertical lines. And these vertical lines have a number at the top of them. Now with these vertical lines, with these numbers on at the top of the vertical lines uh, indicate are the, the measures and um, not only the measures, the measures is the first number, the second number is the beat and by beat I mean uh, you know is it a quarter note and, and uh, what is it the second beat of the sixteenth measure for example so I'm looking at sixteen point two for example the first number is the measure so the measure is sixteen so this is the sixteenth measure and the point two is the beat value so it's the second beat of the sixteenth measure. So if I were to say, you know, one, two, three, for the second snap, that's the second beat, because I'm ca counting off quarter notes. Another good reason to uh, look back at those videos on on note values, because then you'll know what the hell I'm talking about. If if you don't, so when you're programming these fills, you have to 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 first figure out what kind of note value uh, your snare. In this case, I'm teaching you how to use snares. Which, which note value your snare is going to have. These little squares um, have a note value. For example, I'm going to paste, uh, these are quarter notes. 
So there, you'll notice that there are four beats in a measure in 4-4 four, four time. So 16.1, 16.2, 16.3, and 16.4, that's a full measure. That's, that's four counts or beats. You know, one, two, three, four, and this is what it's going to sound like. So that's four counts. Now I might want to um, include eighth notes. Eighth notes are just twice as fast as quarter notes. So for every four quarter notes, you will have eight eighth notes in a measure. And that's how you program. Um, now guess how many uh, notes you would have for sixteenth notes? You will have sixteen, right? So let me add these extra ones. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So let's work with, with, with this uh, fill for just a second. The thing that I really like about Acid is that you have that one click pitch shift option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my, uh, my snares and I'm going to hit the plus key a bunch of times. Let's just go up to plus 12. This is what we get. Now what I want to do here is create this, this uh, descending pitch effect on the, on the snares. So I'm going to select everything but the first four and I'm going to hit the minus key four times. I'm going to bring the pitch down gradually for each, uh, each set of four snares. So I'm going to keep doing that, one, two, three, four, keep doing it, one, two, three, four, and this is what the end result sounds like. So now you have a fill that's a little more interesting. It has more texture, it has more depth, and, and it, it's more dynamic. Now let's try this with 30 second. I'm going to zoom in a little more until I can see another set of boxes. And you're going to end up painting within a full measure. You're going to end up painting um, 32, hence them being called 30 second notes. 32 of these snares uh, from 16.1 all the way to 17.1 that's a full measure so you're going to have 32 of these in between this is what it's going to sound like it's kind of annoying when it's all the same uh, pitch so let's let's try the falling pitch technique I'm going to select and then gradually with each set of eight this time because we're working with 30 second notes with each set of eight snares I'm going to go down by about four uh, whole steps this is what it sounds like. Now here's where it gets difficult, uh, and this is what I was kind of dreading to explain. There, there are triplets too. I'm encouraging you to watch that video or that, that series of videos on, on uh, no value in music theory because that will help you really understand the triplet as opposed to just a regular eighth note. Um, so a really popular fill, drum fill, relies on sixteenth note triplets. And I'll show you what I mean. You'll hear a difference. Here are regular, here's a regular 16th note uh, fill. Here are the 16th note triplets. Can you, can you hear the difference? So it's more of a syncopated sound. Um, now, they're difficult to program, and I just kind of do them using trial and error, to be honest with you. I just I go in. And I know that I have to um, paint three of these. I'm going to cut this quarter note count in half. So from 13.1 to 13.2, I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to put in six of these 16th notes. And you can't just put in six, one, two, three, four, five, six, because it's going to sound awful. This is where the listening part comes in. These are too close together. Feel free to add, add some comments to explain a better way of doing this. This is how I do it. I'm going to teach you another way in, in a second. So then when, when I get a, a, a series of three that I like that are evenly spaced out and they're triplets and they sound good, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Paste it again. Paste it again. Paste it again. And then I can do my... Uh, my pitch variation here. So this is what it sounds like. If that seems like something that you really don't want to deal with, there's a shortcut. It doesn't sound as good, but I'm going to show you what you do. 
Um, so you get a snare. Uh, I'll just I'll drag a snare in. You get a snare, and you uh, add an effect to it. The effect that you add is going to be just this, the Sony Acid Simple Delay uh, plugin. If I can find it, Simple Delay. What you're going to want to do is turn the dry out all the way up to zero and turn the delay out all the way up to zero as well. Choose Tempo Sync Delay. And for the note value of the delay, you're going to choose 16th note triplet. You're also going to want multiple delays too. So now, all you have to do is paste um, eighth notes in. And this is what it sounds like. And you can do the, the pitch effect here too. Doesn't sound as good and it's a little harder to control. Um, but it works. This is, this is a method that I came up with and, and was using for a little while and I finally just decided to suck it up and, and program everything manually. Um, so I hope that helped. Uh, download the ACID session. It, it, you can use it in um, Sony ACID version 7 Pro and um, it has everything that I talked about right in it so you can experiment with it, change it up a little and, and really see what, what this kind of thing looks like uh, at your own computer or your own studio. I have another loop collection coming soon. Uh, it's a partnership with a uh, loop site. So that's coming soon. I'll have more information on that later. Check out the Jeezy song. It's brand new for 2011. Search for it. It's USDA featuring Young Jeezy. Uh, the name of the song is uh, called CTE or Nothing. Google it. Download it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Appreciate you watching. Peace.